We now know what missing values are, how they work, how to count them and summarize them. Now let's look at some of the built-in visualizations that come with Narnia. Data summaries are very useful, but sometimes an idea or a thought can be quickly captured with a visualization. Narnia provides a friendly family of missing data visualization functions, each presenting different visualization missingness summaries. In fact, each of these visualizations is a nice compact shorthand for the data summaries. While you could create similar and more complex visualization using the summary information from the previous lesson, this can be repetitive. The visualizations in Narnia reduce repetition and increase iteration, so you can operate closer to the speed of thought. In this lesson, we cover how to get a bird's eye view of the data, how to look at missings in the variables and cases, and how to generate visualizations for missing spans and across groups in the data. When you first get a data set, it can be difficult to get a visceral sense of where the missings are. To get an overview of the amount of missingness, use the vis-miss function from the vis-dat package. Vis-miss produces a heat map of the missingness, like as if the plot corresponded to the data set as a giant spreadsheet, with values colored black for missing and gray for present. Vis-miss also provides missingness summary statistics, showing the overall percentage of missingness in the legend and the amount of missings in each variable. These can be turned off in the options described in the help file. VisMiss also allows for clustering of the missing data by setting cluster equals true. This orders the rows by missingness to identify common co-occurrences. To quickly show the missingness in variables and cases, we visualize them using ggmissVar and ggmissCase. Note that these are visual analogues of the missVar summary and missCase summary functions. These plots show the amount of missingness on the x-axis, and for ggmissVar, each point represents the amount of missingness in that variable, and for ggmissCase, each line represents the amount of missingness in that case. Note that these visualizations are ordered so that the most missing is at the top. The ordering in ggmissCase can be turned off with the option order cases equals false. ggmissVar and ggmissCase also allow for fastening by one variable. This means you can explore missingness in cases and variables across the levels of another group. This plot is faceted by month, showing the number of missings in each variable for each month. Here we see that ozone in month 6 has the most missings. To visualize the common combinations of missingness, which variables and cases go missing together, use ggmiss upset. This powerful visualization shows the number of combinations of missing values that co-occur. An upset plot of the air quality dataset shows there are only missing values in ozone and solar.r, with 35 in only ozone, 5 in solar.r, and in both ozone and solar.r, there are two missing cases. To explore how missingness in each variable changes across a factor, use ggmissFact, FCT. This displays a heat map visualization showing the factors on the x-axis and each other variable on the y-axis, and the amount of missingness colored from dark purple through to yellow. ggmissFactor does not support faceting. ggmissSpan is the visual analog of missVarSpan. This calculates the number of missings in a given span, the number of missings, say, for every 3,000 rows. It displays the amount of missing values in each span in a filled bar plot. ggmissSpan supports faceting. Now, 